This man would have no problem dragging me off to a dungeon. Then you slide me in a tiny little area where I barely fit. I'm claustrophobic, so it starts to freak me out. My shoulders are big and burly, that's why you're afraid. And why do my hands need to go behind my back? Why do I have to be completely debilitated? They treat me like total crap. I can't look at them in the eyes, I have to look at the floor. And then if I give any kind of resistance and don't give them full dominion over my fingers as they fingerprint me, then what happens next is they slam my head into the wall. That's happened to me once. Every day, a hundred emails of people saying, please help me. I got this Jack Booth thug pig here in Texas. I got a guy in LA, I got a story on camera. He got picked up for not paying traffic ticket. He's now HIV positive. It's not just one or two, and it's not a few bad apples. You have bad apples on this police department. I'm not going to a dungeon because this pig over here and this pig over here want to drag me. I mean, look at the terror flag he's wearing. Look at the terror flag he's wearing. Video. What happened? That's his business, not yours. My business to ask, though, you know what I mean? I was actually going to drop the cameras and go into kung fu mode. Good thing you came back. If you hadn't come back, I was going to kung fu, bro. I'm just standing there filming, you know? <laughs> These guys are so predictable. Such beta male chumpzillas. That when you put torture cuffs on someone, you're torturing them. I appreciate your information. Well, it might not affect you at all. You might not give a rat's ass about another man. How many cops do you guys need? You guys need a few more cops here? One, two, three, four, five. Get, get another giant like this one. There's no third party to film cops searching your car. I mean, one time when I, after I became known across the country, then the cops didn't put me in torture cuffs quite as tight. I was in torture cuffs and the guy tried to cut off the blood to my ulnar nerve and my arm. That's why this hand shakes down. That's what he did. He's got his hands on his head like a POW though. You know, I'm not a fan of police, but uh, at the same time, I'll treat you like an individual Absolutely. until I, someone gives me a directive or tries to demand my ID or... No, so you can't do that in here. Mm -hmm. You can do a dog all you want, So let me you can't now, record other people. Now let me tell you this, go pound sand. You can, go you pound sand, bro. Food. Jump down on your knees and, right. and eat my shorts. I'm filming them right now, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Well, I can keep it out. No, you can't. No, you can't. Go ahead. Now let, let me educate this dirty jack boot thug pig. You have a First Amendment right to film police. That right does not change when you go into a police lobby. It's right there, the right to film cops. You got people like that who don't know that this is a public forum. I can film in here anytime I'd like. What are you gonna do about it? What? You're not gonna do a damn thing. And if you do, I'll sue you personally under 1983. And then you'll face federal district court. Right. Or take your happy ass back to your office and flee okay. like a little dog. That was easy. Look at this kid. Look at him. They put, little stick figure they put in a costume. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. This is a kid. I could wipe the green from out behind his ears. Don't do this crap. Was your daddy a pig? Tell me what happened. Retire now, dude. Are you going to physically stop me no, from doing my job? I'm not going to physically do that. Okay. Well, then I'm going to walk around here and take some videos. Okay. So okay. If, if you're done, yes. then head on back. Okay. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. Appreciate you. Okay. So that was a f***ing lie. Uh, today, uh, today I need some help with a uh, producer of the uh, car, our uh, mailing, our, uh, um, uh, what did he say? My dad was on the police department from 1946 to 1981. He retired as a shift commander. And I'll tell you what, this fire station was built in 1969. And he was here from 69 to 81. He was a shift commander here. And before that, you know where the big uh, city hall is? When he first started, that city hall was built in about 1955, and the old city hall, he was in there. And then before, after that, what? Is there anybody I could talk to here? Huh? Unless they want to come down to the gym. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. Instead of walking around sighing and breathing hard. Uh, uh, uh. I don't like where this is going. They're literally colluding together at the front and blocking me from entering. Come on, man. Dude, no. you better grab me while you got that badge on. I'm not going to physically challenge you, dude. Not while you got the badge on and you're working in a, in a security capacity. I'm not going to challenge you. Hey, there we are. There's an officer of the law. I don't go in there and smash that desk and beat everybody up and say, I'll do what I want because I agree to live under a series of laws. Mm -hmm. I've agreed to that. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I won't violate your rights just like I don't want you to violate mine. I want a matter of record. I'm not willingly walking off. He's telling me if I don't leave that he's going to arrest me. And so as a man of law and order who respects the social contract and the rule of law, I'm going to do what he tells me to because if I don't do what he tells me, he's going to arrest me. You are a 
bro. You're, you're not tough at all. Boss. With your badge and gun, you got no badge and gun, you're a wuss. Don't get in my face, punk Excuse ass. Excuse me. You think you're a man with a gun in your hand, don't you? Hey, you're a jack. Thank you for being a good I'm telling you, dude. Hold up. Wait a minute. Dude, yeah, get your hand off my camera, lady. I'm fired. Oh, cool. Your dad's a pig. Your dad is a pig. Call my dad a pig? I think your dad's a Pig, bro. Are you really? Are you really? Get off me, bro. Get off me, bro. You want to attack me? Do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's the matter? You, you don't want to be on camera now that you tried to attack me? You can't attack me, dude. You need to get on a stair stepper for a while. Where is law enforcement? Well, law enforcement for what? For having a civil discussion? Name and badge number. Name and badge number. What's your name and badge number? Hey, hey, you have to identify yourself according hey, to policy. Leave him alone. No, he has to identify. No, he doesn't. Yes, leave he him does. alone. Go back to California. No, leave our, leave our, leave, our, leave them alone. What? You're upset because he didn't identify himself. You can't act in your official capacity and not give your name and badge number. This cop comes out here and starts demanding me around and then goes, threatens me that he's going to come out. Well, then do it. Do it. Put me in torture cuffs. Then I get damages. Right now it'll be a declaratory judgment. Sure. He came out and asked me yep. if my name was Dan. I said, I'm not going to tell you my name's Dan or not. And then he said, well, you know, you can't film in here. He's, you're making someone feel uncomfortable. So then I went right over and I put the camera around. The guy said, what are you going to do sure. about it? Got but, his name on the back here. And okay. you also have my card with my contact information. We went away from badge numbers because we changed from badge numbers to department Solomon seniority. Aries. Is he a lieutenant, so a captain, a sergeant? What is he, what is Solomon? He's, he's a police officer. He's an officer. Yeah, well, yes, he should not be promoted. You don't get to not identify and act in your official capacity. And that is worth filing for. It will take me about four hours to write. Would you guys kill the battery? Are you going to help her get her car started? Off your policy. What's your name and badge number? What? So that people can, you can identify you the thousands of people watching. Why do I need to identify myself? Because you're an officer on duty and according to the LVMPD hiring book, when someone asks you for your name and badge number, you're supposed to give it. Based off what? Your handbook that I've read that you have not read, obviously. I'm a member of the press. I need to, I'm a member of the press. I need to identify you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do what I do. I grew up in this town, and this is bullshit. Hey, left the lights on. I can't even see my car. Thanks. If you're going to one up and you're going to film the police, you better know what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. You have to practice saying it. So when you see a copper, you're going to run up and you're going to say, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be filming this interaction. I invoke my First Amendment right. You can address me as Mr. Good Citizen. You have to have your stick down. Cop comes up to me and says something. I'm a little bit confused. You can leave I'm going to stand yes, right can, here. Sir. I'm standing in the parking lot. I came to get gas. Would you like me to trespass you guys, this individual? You can't, you can't trespass me. Honey, you can't solicit a trespass. A trespass. Go ahead. Let's follow it. Let's see if you're going to get sued. She's trying to solicit a trespass from owners. It's illegal. Okay. You guys are seeing it all over the country. Auditors are getting arrested left and right. And why are they getting arrested? Because they don't have their stick down. They don't have their lingo, their jargon, their mumbo jumbo. And they don't invoke their rights. Now, when the cop comes up to me, the first thing I'm going to say is I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. What's your name and badge number? Now, I just said that I get to be quiet and you have to tell me who you are. You see the power in that? You see the power in that?